It's dubbed Tinder for teens, and now one local police department is warning parents to check their child's phone right now for that app. These apps are always popping up. This one is called Yellow, and 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez spoke with police to find out the dangers they say this app poses for young kids. Before the start of the school year, Rachel Honey bought her preteen son a cell phone to stay in touch. Pearson uses it to play games, music, and Snapchats with his friends. I feel like it's one of the safest because you can choose who your friends are and who looks at the stuff that you're posting. But there's an app called Yellow, just like the color that connects to Snapchat. There are reportedly 7 million yellow users worldwide. Permission it's described as no Tinder for teens, uh, where you swipe left, swipe right. What do you make of that? I think it's terrible. I think it's... It's already so hard to like get parental controls on the phone and this is just one more thing that makes it really scary as a parent. The app that's filled with emojis is now attracting the attention of law enforcement. Because there is no verification about a person's age, um, uh, an adult can create an app and pose as a 13, 14 year old and with location settings find teenagers uh, in close proximity to them. Lenexa police wrote about it on Facebook to alert parents about potential dangers. And this one is in Merriam, Kansas. And she's alleging to be 16 years old. Besides choosing who to like or not, yellow users can also swap photos. There have been individuals who have shared inappropriate pictures with each other that would constitute child pornography. No, I think it's way too easy to use. Laura Chambers tries her best to keep a close eye on her daughter's phone. 12-year-old Abby doesn't even use Snapchat. I just feel like you kind of get separated from your friends whenever you use that stuff, like drama and everything. It's our job to keep our kids safe, whether it's on the street or in the Internet. So, no, it would not be in my house at all. Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. Here at 41 Action News, we helped launch KC Safe Online. It's a program where kids and parents can both learn about online threats because, like I mentioned, they're always popping up. There are ways that you can beef up security on your children's phones. We've also got how-to videos on just that topic on our KC Safe Online webpage.